section 5.3, angle bisectors of triangles. Remember, an angle bisector is something we've seen before, and it is a line or array that will pass through the vertex of an angle, and it bisects that angle, or it cuts that angle into two congruent angles. So here, with angle BAC, if angle 1 is congruent to angle 2, that means that line AD is the angle bisector of angle BAC. <coughs> Let's look at GeoGebra. So here we have an angle. And we can change the size of the angle, and no matter what size angle we're looking at, we see that line AD is the angle bisector. Well, we notice something a little bit interesting. And we know that there are infinitely many points on this angle bisector. But no matter what point we're looking at, this point will be the same distance to either side of the angle. Now, there's something important to note here, and that's how we measure di distance. Obviously, with point D, there are infinitely many lines that connect point D to this side of the angle. How we determine the distance is we will construct a perpendicular. And that's how we measure distance in geometry in general. So we measure distance in geometry by taking the shortest distance between two points. The shortest distance between a point and a line is a perpendicular line, meaning the shortest distance between point D and side AC is the perpendicular line that cuts the two, connects the two. Any other segment that would connect point D to side AC would be longer than 1.86 in this example. And this brings us to theorem 5.5, the angle bisector theorem, which tells us that if a point is on the bisector of an angle, then it is equidistant, E-Q-U-I-D-I-S-T-A-N-T, meaning equal distance from the two sides of the angle. And that's what we saw here is that D no matter where D is on this angle bisector, will be the same distance, there we go, there we go, from the two sides. And GeoGebra is being finicky. Ha! We also see something else interesting, and that is theorem 5.6, which is the converse of the angle bisector theorem. That tells us if a point is in the interior of an angle, so if I have an angle, and I have some point that's on the inside of this angle, and my point is equidistant from the sides of the angle. So if this point D is equidistant from both sides, then that point must lie on the bisector of the angle. meaning angle 1 must be congruent to angle 2 here. Those are your two theorems, so we can go in both directions. If a point is on the bisector of an angle, then it is equidistant from the sides, and if a point is equidistant from the sides of an angle, then it lies on that angle's bisector.